Hi, this is Cookie Masterson, and I once played the role of Kristen Stewart on the cover of Us Weekly. Couldn't get anyone to join you, huh? Yeah, I know how you feel. And the wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Optometrix Novelty Eyewear. Our products rarely cause blindness anymore. Anymore? Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. I honestly don't want to win this one, but okay, it's worth the All right, point, let's get so. this party started. Get ready, time for fashion. Run. To get started, Jody Foster, the people. I hate it when I like a movie and people are always saying, Oh, the book was better. The book was better. Shut up, people. If I wanted to know how good the book was, I would have learned how to read good. Which of these Jodie Foster movies was not based on a book that was better? Or any book at all? The Silence of the Lambs? Where's that confounded right answer? Silence of the Lambs, Contact, and the Hotel New Hampshire were all based on big best-selling nice books. But Maverick game. was just based on the old James Garner TV show. And yeah, the TV show is better. But at least it wasn't a book. I think you might need some contacts to see the right answer. Or... Which is why you've won... These googly eye contact lenses from Optometrix Novelty Eyewear. Warning, if you put them in backwards, you will rip your eyes out. <laughs> Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a tidy 4000 bucks. There you go. Never trying those, so... And on its way, Settlers of Chris Catan. I love Chris Catan. Oh, just got a push notification from my fortune cookie app. It appears that I should eat one right now. Cookie, fortune, cookie, fortune, cookie, fortune, cookie, mm. Mm. Well, let's see. Follow your nose. Not bad advice, but which ancient sculpture would find this fortune useless? The Venus de Milo, the Thinker, oh. Michelangelo's David, which or the Great does not Sphinx? Have a <laughs> Survey says. You really got cut off at the arms here. <laughs> Allow me. The Sphinx really? is missing its nose, so it would have nothing to follow. If the Sphinx really followed its nose, it would probably find it in a museum on some super advanced alien planet. The signs are everywhere, people. Aliens are real, and they're going to take all our noses. Dance with me, Disco 3. Coming up. When you thought Hal was shallow, and stick your nose firmly in the air for a dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven items, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a quote from Gwyneth Paltrow or a quote from Mother Teresa. Oh, no. If it's a Gwyneth Paltrow quote, press the left arrow. If it's a Mother Teresa quote, press the right arrow. Cool, let's do it. This shouldn't be too shabby. I'd rather smoke crack. I would rather die than... Oh, okay. When you don't have anything, then you... I can't pretend to be somebody... I love anything that comes in a... Words which do not give the light... When I pass a flowering zucchini... Not bad, but try not to get too full of yourself. I'm not. That was almost perfect, though, so I'm happy. I know sometimes celebrities can seem a little out of touch, but that's only because we're so much richer, better looking, and well-educated than the rest of you knuckle-dragging Neanderthals. That's all it is. Don't take it so personally. Take a good look at... Ye Mad Men of Old. What would you most likely see on Mad Men if it took place during the 1860s? Roger's wedding ruined by Lincoln's assassination, Pete losing an account during the French Revolution, Joan's husband going off to fight in World War I, or Don having an affair with Cleopatra. I'm going to go ahead and rule out the last one. I have to say... No, but that's so Pete. <laughs> this would have worked. Abraham okay. Lincoln was assassinated in 1865. The rest of these events are not even close. 
Oh, dang. I, I would bad. watch 1860s Mad Men just for the wardrobe. I mean, those wool uniforms, that long underwear. Ah, those bonnets. Now, that was a time when people cared about fashion. How about the squeaky turkey gets the grease? Ever had deep fried turkey? It's kind of like a deep fried Twinkie, except with turkey instead of Twinkie. Say you're hungry for a greasy turkey. Where's a real place that you could eat one? The Hungry Grease and Turkey Border Point, the Hungry and Turkey Border, the Hungry and Grease Border, or the Grease and Turkey Border. Um, really? Ah! Yeah. Here's what a right answer looks like. Only Greece okay. and Turkey have a shared border, so you could eat your greasy turkey on the edge of Greece and Turkey. Fine. And I find the best way to travel to Turkey is by gravy boat. <laughs> That'll wrap up round one. And I'm happy to report you have the best score. Don't forget, all the questions in round two are worth double. Okay then, here we go. Next up, the cow drove and the swine flew. Oh dear. Yeah, it's bring your pet to work day, and one of the interns brought in an adorable pot-bellied pig. Say hello, Sir Oinkington. He just loves the little sailor outfit I bought for him. And get this, it's so adorable. He loves it when I play this little piggy and count his toes. Too cute. <laughs> when I killed the piggies on Sir Oinkington's pig feet, how far into this little piggy do I get? This little piggy went to market, this little piggy stayed home, this little piggy had roast beef, or this little piggy had none. Sorry, no take backs. Really? Ah! Okay, Smart fine. people choose this. Pigs oh. are even-toed ungulates like deer and cattle who have four toes on their feet. Two functional, two shy. non-functional. So with four toes, you would make it to the fourth verse, this little piggy had none. I just hope my cat's poopsy and mayonnaise don't get jealous of all the attention this little pig is getting. <laughs> Here we have Bros before O's. It's the oh dear. Get this one right for an extra one triple O dollars. Arrange these things in order from when they were born, from oldest to most recent. Oreos, SpaghettiOs, Jackie Kennedy, Onassis. SpaghettiOs, Oreos, Jackie O, Jackie O. Oreos were introduced in 1912, Jackie O was born in 1929, and SpaghettiOs were invented in 1965. You just picked up an extra thousand bucks for that. <laughs> I love Oreos and SpaghettiOs because I refuse to eat any food that resembles something you can find in nature. Follow me down to the sea, Say hello to Middle Earth, Down Under, Top to Bottom. You know how Peter Jackson shoots all his incredibly long Lord of the Rings movies in New Zealand? Well, see if you can wrap your crossbow around this. Given how New Zealanders refer to Australia, which fantasy adaptation would be most logical for Peter Jackson to shoot there? Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Bridge to Terabithia, The Wizard of Oz, or The Wind in the Willows? New Zealanders refer to Australia. I would have to guess. My New Zealand friend tells me... G'day! Yeah, that's him right there. He tells me that down in New Zealand, they refer to Australia as Oz. Get it? Short for Australia. Here. Makes sense to me. Just give Gimli some green stockings and voila! Munchkins! <laughs> and now... June Cleaver is living a lie. 
Suppose fictional housewives from literature started appearing in episodes of Bravo's Real Housewives series. Considering where they live, which pairing would make the most sense? Emma Bovary on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Anna Karenina on The Real Housewives of Orange County, Connie Chatterley on The Real Housewives of New Jersey, or Daisy Buchanan on The Real Housewives of New York. Watch your time. I don't have to. Yes. Daisy Buchanan from The Great Gatsby lives in Long Island, New York. And she's also plenty rich, so she'd fit in great with The Real Housewives there. <laughs> And since The Great Gatsby takes place during the 1920s, by now Daisy would be nearly as old as the other housewives. Oh, I'm kidding. With all their plastic surgery, they all look like very youthful aliens. Uh, if you say so, which honestly, I get. Up next, all my exes seceded with Texas. Say Texas finally becomes its own independent country and constructs a fence around its entire border. Considering the states it's touching, what justification would you probably not hear? It'll keep out those dang Louisianans. It'll keep out the... Louisiana, Oklahoma, and New Mexico all border Texas, but Kansas and its Kansans do not. Yeah. Texans have a rich history. I mean, remember The Alamo? Starring Dennis Quaid and Billy Bob Thornton. Now that was a movie. What about the actual Alamo? Welcome to the attack. Ah, you already know the rules. Off you go. Catching some Z's. Who's the sleepyhead? The <laughs> luck. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Sleepy. <laughs> Who the heck is Snorlax? Sleepy! <laughs> that was easy. Free! Money! Money, money, money! Oh dear, the Care Bears. Bedtime Bears! Still super easy! Nas Wonderland. Is it just gonna be all Alice characters? Nope, there's Garfield. Not him, I don't think. Ah! I just wasted money. Look at me. Pokemon. There's a sleeping Pokemon. There's no way it's Snorlax. I'm not gonna guess because I don't know my Pokemon that well. There's something I know. Uh, I don't know the Smurfs. I'm just glad that they had Gargamel first. Lazy Smurf. <laughs> I think I actually saw the opening to Spaceballs. I don't know. It was a long time ago. I meant to see finish seeing that one too if it was. Oops. Try was Rip Van Winkle. I don't know. But that's all for this. There you have it. You know what? After all this, I'm actually pretty tired. I think I'm gonna go take a quick cat nap. Oopsie! Mayonnaise, get over here! I need to use you as pillows again! Stop fidgeting, Poopsie. You're only making this harder on yourself. You don't know Jack! See you tomorrow. It's the perfect choice. It's into water, then buzz in and